Hello Pisces, it's Marie from the Tarot Shop here and this is your reading for the month of May. As you can see, I've got two decks here. This is the Tower of Traditions Tarot deck and I've also got a new deck here. This is the Crystal Blessings Cards deck and I just thought it would be really fun this month to give you a crystal energy to carry you through the month of May. So let's see what we have for Pisces, what crystal wants to accompany Pisces through the month of May. Crystal for May for Pisces. Oh, you've got blue topaz. Isn't that gorgeous? So I have the ability to speak with clarity and eloquence. Slightly better than I do sometimes. So that is your card for the month of May. Let's see what that's relevant. It'd be funny if you do get the crystal. If you get the Queen of Swords, then I know that you need to stand up for yourself. Okay, so we've got tarot cards for Pisces. For the month of May. What would you like Pisces to know for the month of May? What message would you like to give them? Okay. One, two, three, one, five, six. I slightly forgot how to count them momentarily. Did you see that slight lapse? Okay, so Pisces, you have got a sword, but it's not the sword, the Queen of Swords. So sorry, I'm just let me just collect my thoughts here. Right. We've got a significant month because you've got one, two. Two major arcana, so not just one. So this is quite significant. The first one is about um, the devil card, which is about procrastination and getting distracted and not staying on the true path. And actually the end one is the high priestess, which is about getting in touch with your intuition. So it's quite a significant. You've almost been too earthly, too tempted, too distracted by other matters. So we'll get to that in a second. But you actually, at the end of the month, you will move towards the more spiritual side of yourself. So... The be we begin the month by saying um, that you are taking responsibility for the way that you think over something. So you're getting clarity, but more important than that, you're taking the lead. You are in charge of what you think about something. You've decided to take control of a thought pattern you have or a belief with regard. And it actually leads to success. So it's about, I think you struggle. This feels that you're struggling to take ownership for something that you've done well you've done very well at it because the six of wands is about achievement and responsibility it's about achievement and victory so you've done something well and because of the conflict here I feel as if you're struggling to take responsibility for that to take ownership of it so the beginning of the month you go through this period of time where you're struggling to take ownership for the fact that you've done something really well and you have Pisces you know, you should celebrate your successes. It's not for somebody else that's done it. It's you. You're the one that's actually done this. So that is coming through as quite a strong feeling with that card. And, you know, you've almost come to the stage that when you, you're struggling to accept this, this thing that you've done really well. And as a result of that, you've almost pinned yourself down. Now, with the Ten of Swords, you see it looks quite a bleak card, doesn't it? They both look quite bleak, but they're not. This looks like a bleak card, but let me tell you what actually this card means. Now, swords are, are a mental state. So this is about thought process. Swords are thinking. And 10 is completion. So you've completed thinking about a matter. So you've reached the end of the road, as in you have gone, OK, I'm done with this now. I'm so done with this. I'm now able to start anew. It's completion. So you've completed whatever this project or this matter is or whatever it is that you've done. It's completed. It's over. Um, and it was distracting you. It's almost like you got so sucked into this situation. And the devil does just sucks us in and distracts us. And we have all these other little shiny. It's like you get distracted by shiny stuff. Do you know what I mean? That sort of thing. So actually, there's a lot of distraction here. But you're so done with it. You are so finished. You are so over this now. And um, when you get to that turning point, we're like, right, I'm done with this now. You then find that the high priestess comes in and guess what she brings in with her? A helpful friend 
who is about to take you out of these troubled waters and into smoother paths. So somebody comes in to help you. You're not rescued because we don't rescue. We don't encourage rescue. We can take care of our, we can rescue ourselves, you know, but essentially a helping hand comes in here and says, let's go together. I'm, I've got this. I can help you and will help you move towards smoother sailing. Now, the high priestess brings that in because this is the card of intuition. This is the card of cosmic. It's the book of all knowledge. It's the knowledge of the whole world that everything happens for a reason. Timing is everything. It's spiritual. She's just really saying, OK, let me help you now. Let me take care of you. And the universe is dying for you to do this. You know, they're so saying, please let us help you. Allow us to help you. And we'll bring all the synchronicity and all these coincidences. And there'll be a major coincidence or a timing of something beautifully delivered at the end of the month that allows this person or this friend or this can even be a con. It doesn't need to be a physical person. It can be somebody who sends you a message or a mail or it's a messenger that will come in and say, Think about this. Try this. There's a new path ahead that's being opened up here for you. So that's quite positive. It's very promising. My advice through the cards here is to take responsibility for this thought pattern that you have that actually you can't take a compliment. You can't take your successes. Um, do you ever wish that you had the gift of the gab and can give it? Well, OK, so. Wearing blue topaz jewellery can enhance a teacher's ability to explain... Oh, my goodness me, I should try that. I'm rubbish at things sometimes like that. An easy to understand manner, although I know some of you don't disagree, bless you. And it will help curate orators speak with eloquence and effectiveness. And always remember to put your glasses on, Maria, so that you can read. Okay, so that is um, your month Pisces ahead for May. So very transformative. We're letting something go so that we can move forward. Okay, so that's it. Thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.